captain. He said it was urgent. We're in here, Commissioner. What's going on? What's he doing here? He's here as my guest. We have an arrest warrant for Paul Harlan. It's all filled out and ready to roll. So, you finally found some DNA. You can finally identify the torso. Yes, yes. sir. So, what are you waiting for? We're waiting for you, Commissioner. Why are you smiling? You'll find out soon enough. Mr. Monk, why don't you tell us why we're all here? Paul Harley killed his girlfriend, Larissa Zarieva. He cut her up and dumped her body into the bay. He cleaned his house. He scrubbed, he dusted, he wiped away any trace of her until she disappeared. And then he must have found something, a piece of paper. It scared him half to death. Well, what was it? It was a receipt from the hair outlet on 24th Street. They make wigs from human hair. Larissa had very long hair. A month before she was murdered, she cut it all off. We all saw the picture. She sold her hair to a wig maker. Lots of women do that. The hair outlet. Isn't that the place that... That burned down last week, that's right. Harley was in trouble. He knew there was a wig out there somewhere made from Larissa's hair, a wig full of her DNA. He had to get it back before we tracked it down. So he broke into the hair outlet, killed the owner, and he rifled through the sales receipts until he found what he needed and then destroyed the evidence or tried to. We got lucky. Some of the records survived the fire. We know who bought Larissa's hair. So who is it? Where's the wig? It's not a wig. It's a toupee. Hmm. It's your toupee, sir. A toupee. Your toupee. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, it's a rug. What, are you gonna deny it? I don't wear a toupee. It was Paul Harley that was grabbing your hat. Except he wasn't after your hat. He was trying to grab your... Head doily. I can see it from here. This is my own hair. You mean you would let a murderer, a man who killed two people in cold blood, walk because because you refuse to admit that you're wearing a piece? <laughs> I get it. You're trying to embarrass me in front of the camera. Nobody is trying to embarrass you, Commissioner, but I am going to rip that hairpiece off of your head. It is a critical piece of evidence. You wouldn't dare. Are you sure? A hundred percent. Ninety-three to ninety-four percent. Seventy-four percent. Are you finished? Okay. The answer is yes. You, my friend, are finished in every sense of the word. Seventy-four percent is good enough for me. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Get off me! <laughs> you said it was right under our noses, Lieutenant. I think the lab is looking for that. You can edit this out, right? This doesn't have to be in the movie. Well, I don't know, Commissioner. It's a pretty amazing scene, and I'd hate to lose it. What can I say? It's cinema verite. Isn't there anything I can do? Actually, Commissioner, there is one thing. Do you remember my friend, Adrian Monk?
it's a jungle out there Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well, I do Hey, who's in charge here? It's a